Alright, hey, uh, sorry about that. Alright, now, this is the second part of my tutorial. This one is going to, uh, be on the expression gate, but real quick, I'm gonna show you what's wrong with my, uh, the first thing. I'll go ahead and put it in my description or something later, too, probably. What happens is, the, what, what we did is we added a, a delta chip, and what the delta chip was doing was taking the change in the Z value. So when it moved up, it added Z, and when it moved down, it subtracted that much Z making it so the more it moved up, the more the, the more the thrust, the more it moved down, the more the thrust going down. So we don't want that. We want it when it goes down, it'll go slower, and when it goes up, it'll go slower. That way it uh, comes to a stop. So you want to negate this and go ahead and add the negate, and the add becomes your new, th uh, is still your thrust. But now we have a uh, delta chip that compensates for it and um, it slows it down instead of increasing it and making it smoother. See now it should just yeah, and if it doesn't smooth fast enough for you, uh, which it's doing pretty good, you go and just increase the um, thrust to like 30, which I think I've already done. Go ahead and put it at 50. Why not make it more? And now it's like ridiculously fast, but anyway, yeah. There you go. And notice how it'll move by itself after a bit. See how it's starting to move? It's just so minuscule, but that means it is off balance. And to fix that, just pretty much get your uh, prop uh, properties, physical properties, and go ahead and just zap everything. Now it shouldn't move. Yeah, see, perfect balance. It doesn't move. Doesn't do anything. Re reaches the d necessary height. You can also use like a target finder, get the world position Z of the target finder, add like 50 to it, that way it'll fi it'll re be the same height as the target object, and if it's a player, it'll add 50, that means it'll stay, it'll want to stay at like this height the whole time, no matter how high it is, it'll just stay like right there. That's a, that's a good little thing to know. Probably figure that out on yourself, so I hope. Um, now I'm going to do all this in a simple expression chip, so hopefully I have enough time because for some reason these always seem to take way longer than they should. So go ahead and I already, I was looking at my old one here, this does uh, the thrust and everything, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. So go to browse, new expression, file name, whatever you want, this is what you save it as, label, this is what appears, of it, appears at it, so um, this is what appears when you scroll over it inputs remember we just got the roll and the pitch out of the thing and we're not we're not going to deal with the thrust just yet so um, then the, the output remember was the roll the pitch the inverse roll I'm just going to put in roll and in pitch which is inverse pitch and uh, one thing since you can't have uh, two ro roll in the same input and output it doesn't really work uh, I put roll one and pitch one. That way, I know. That way, it knows uh, the difference between the two. And this is a really simple uh, expression. Just roll is going to equal pretty much what we did for those chips. Uh, I like using parentheses. Remember parentheses, like the little smiley, uh, frowny face again. There he is again. Um, so yeah, we remember we took delta of roll, and then we added it to roll. And delta is the dollar sign if you can't see it and then and parentheses that's it and then um, pitch is the same thing just replace uh, roll with pitch so delta pitch pitch plus pitch and there you go and say oh yeah so that's all you want and then uh, remember we have inverse roll and all you have to do is negate it, remember? So you just do negative uh, roll. That's all you have to do. Or you can do roll times negative one. Either works. Like, I'll show you. Um, what was it? Pitch times negative one. That works the same, but it's much easier just to go negative pitch. There. Now we have our balancing. This is all we used. So go ahead and validate it. Successfully validated and save it make sure you put a file name up here and save it if you don't if you leave that blank it won't save so yeah oh, all right 
So go ahead and place this anywhere you want. Wire it up. Roll one goes to roll. Pitch one goes to pitch. And now the hardest part about this is remembering which goes where. So I th think, uh, since I already figured it out, this one is positive pitch and this one is positive roll. So I believe you just wire this one up to pitch. This one, I'll move it higher so I can see what I'm doing. This one goes to roll. This one inverse pitch. And remember, oh shoot! And remember, uh, I figured this out the hard way. This top, this outside gold ring that goes like this, th 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 that one is pit. That's how you know if it's pitched. Pitch is fi is on this gold ring right there. Uh, roll is on the silver ring, and uh, yaw is this inside gold ring going like this. So that helps you know. I don't know which way is positive and negative. It's hard to tell, but it's almost impossible to tell really. But that that helps you know which one is which and which direction. So um, so if you want to get like something right for your vehicles or whatever, because they're not exactly perfectly square like this one. I don't remember what what I wired up or not. So I'm just going to put this to roll. This to inverse roll. And then what was let's see this one to pitch I think I already got it though pitch inverse roll I think I got it yeah I think that's it so nope something's off. Okay, what did I do now? Let's check my expression and see what I got wrong. Roll equals delta of roll plus roll. Ah, duh. Duh, 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 duh. Put one. Make sure you spell it exactly the same as you do up here. Otherwise, it'll get go dipshit on you. And, um, yeah, you get what I just happened. So, yeah, make sure you spell it exactly the same as you do up here. For, don't forget to put the one or the a or whatever you added. So go ahead and validate it. And now I probably gotta switch those things back to what I had them. Yeah, when it goes crazy like that, that usually means you switched them, uh, and put them in the wrong spot. So yeah. So this one was negative pitch. This one was negative roll. Remember, I remember that by the sil the rings. I, I'm looking at the rings to figure that out, and the fact that I have negate chips there, so I know which one was positive. So then this one was pitch, and then this one was roll, and this one was roll. There we go. All all those other chips are completely unnecessary now. Watch. Well, not all of them. Almost all of them. So I can remove, 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 remove. All right. See? Look at that. And next I'm going to show you how to do the target height finder. It's really easy. We're pretty much using three chips. So just so you, it looks better. So go back to your expression. We need two new inputs. We need the target Z and then we need the GPS Z. So you have, and then remember it's the same thing. You get the target Z. And you said, oh no, I forget. And then you need thrust, the output of thrust. This is going to be the thrust to go up and down. So then thrust is equal to target Z minus GPS Z. Ah, shit. Uh, oh yeah, put, go ahead and put those in parentheses. And then we're going to add, remember we added, um, the negative delta, which is negative dollar minus dollar sign of G P S Z. So that should work. And then validate it, save it, name it, and save it. And go ahead and put it right here. Actually, no. Um, since it's in the same chip, replace this chip. Wire our new target, which is going to be 50. And our new GPS Z, which is going to be Z, and thrust, which is just goes to the new output thrust, and now it should 
see exactly the same perfect everything all in one simple expression chip and now you could add other expression chips like we can add a target finder and get a target me and then we could get my height and so it would go up to my height and you can also get the bearing and you could do the same exact thruster technique we used for the delta uh, turret to uh, aim it right at me and then you got yourself a floating perfect automatic turret that f just floats there and you could have uh, you can add speedometers for the Z, uh, X and Z you could add thrusters to stop it from moving at all so it just stays in the same spot and yeah there you go you have a perfect auto balancing t um, plate which can go at any height you want and yeah there you go add some turrets to this thing and some aimers I might do that in my next section of this tutorial and go kick some ass <laughs>